Hey guys, we're back here with Kathy Olson and Becca McLean, and you guys are here to talk about the uh, art call. So you have an art call that's happening uh, with your art boxes. That's right. So as you can see, these are the traffic signal boxes, but of course they might be a little small. Um, these are, in fact, uh, scale models of what you guys are asking artists out there to make, to apply, by the mm. end of August 31st. So tell us a little bit more about the traffic signal boxes. Yeah, so this is our 10th year um, with a traffic signal box call out, and this year we are looking to fill four new locations in Missoula. Um, like Scott said, applications are due August 31st, and we boxes will be painted at the end of September, and then um, we'll have a opening for them beginning of October, first Friday. Um, what else? You can find the art call two places, one being our website, missoulapublicart.org, underneath art calls, and also, as well as the city website. Um, if you type in to Google simplest way, city of Missoula public art, you'll find our committee site and be able to search um, public art calls that way. And it's a great way to kind of promote artists here in the city of Missoula. I did notice, I did actually want to ask a question because I noticed some of the art that was that's being um, um, being um, used in the Missoula County, the Western Montana Fair is was also used on an art box as well. I believe it was Josh Quick who uh, designed mm -hmm. this year's uh, Western Montana Fair. Absolutely, Josh actually has done two boxes, one on Fifth and Higgins, and the other one is where Tool intersects yeah. with West Broadway. Um, we have currently over 50 boxes that have been completed. Wow. We started the project in 2009. Some years we've been lucky enough to have two art calls. Um, in these past years we've um, settled down to just one art call per year. Typically we have three to five boxes and what is so exciting about this is, is the collaboration that we have with the neighborhoods and the funders and the public sector and other individuals in the private sector. We could not do this project without the Montana Department of Transportation. The boxes actually belong to them. And when we started this project, they gave us a resounding yes. They've been supportive throughout this project and in fact because of our project have allowed other communities in Montana to do the project also. So if you travel Montana you'll see different communities, Helena, Hamilton, Bozeman, Great Falls, they all have signal boxes with art and um, started here in Missoula and we've helped those communities. Um, the other part of this is what we like about it is it's, it's an opportunity for new artists, artists that have never done public art before, to understand the time frames and the processes and the actual dealing with a contract right. and understanding that aesthetic aspect of public art along with public health, safety, and welfare. So uh, since we're talking about the artist, let's talk about what the artist has to do to go through the application process and get approved. Yeah, and one on that note, one thing is this Thursday, tomorrow, August 2nd, at 5.30 p.m. in City Council Chambers, we have an informational meeting for artists that are interested in um, applying if they have questions. So that, for sure, come to that if you're interested in applying. And even if you're not sure, that's okay. That's what it's, that's what it's for. Um, but to answer your question, artists apply online via our submittable um, link, which is all listed in the art call. And then they, along with the online application, they have to turn in a model, a small model similar to these that we're, that we're showing that can illustrate to us um, what they're going to paint so we, can, so we can understand that. And again, it, it's more than just painting. Artists can also, they, right. because not all artists are painters. So right. one of the things we have done from the beginning is allow artists to take their imagery and have it translated, um, printed on vinyl and then applied. Oh. So they can work with one of the local mm -hmm. sign companies that actually can um, take that image, print it on the vinyl, and then work with that company to actually put it on the box. The artist does not have to put the vinyl on the box. Um, it, in fact, needs to be done by a professional. <laughs> so we really, again, it goes back to we wanted a wide variety of artists to be able to take advantage of this. Um, but of course, you also have a lot of returning artists who've done more than one art box. 
artists can do two boxes every three years because it's been so popular. We, we, we have some artists that would do a box every year if they could, but <laughs> we want, again, we want to open it up. You have to live in Missoula County mm -hmm. in order to do a box. Right. Um, and so it's not open to artists throughout the state, just those artists that are in Missoula County. And hopefully we'll have artists that have maybe moved back to the area that have wanted to try it. Um, we have established artists that would like to try and, and um, actually um, do something that maybe they've never done before. People that have never done this public art type of work before out mm. there. Right. So, cool. so let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the details. Uh, you said where people can find more information. Mm -hmm. You can, of course, MissoulaPublicArt.org. .org. .org. <laughs> um, also, a big date, August 31st. August 31st the month. is the deadline. Yes. We have a selection committee um, involved. Um, it, it includes people from the neighborhood. In, in fact, this year we have the Heart of Missoula. Um, participating because we worked with them on a neighborhood grant. They're funding two of the boxes. Um, the One of the boxes will be located at Orange and Spruce, the other one at Higgins and Pine. Mm. We have two more downtown. Um, Stockman's Bank is funding a box at Orange and Broadway, and then we have the Downtown Partnership funding a box at Broadway and Higgins. Cool. And uh, many of uh, the requirements that you need is uh, 3D scale model. 3D scale model, a completed application at submittable.com. Again, all of that information is on the public, both public art website and the city of Missoula public art pages. Right. And very, very easy to complete. Um, we do want samples of your work so we can see that you uh, um, can finish the work and actually can complete this type of project. Um, but most importantly, a model too that actually reflects what you are proposing. Right. So of course, uh, if people want more information, they can get in contact with the Public Art Committee via your website through the city or your own website, which is publicartmissoula.org. But of course, do you guys have a number that anyone can reach you by? Um, you can email me at Becca, B-E-C-C-A, at artsmissoula.org, and our number is 406-541-0860. Cool. And please call with questions, and I'm happy to, happy to help. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Is there anything else you want to thanks say? Thanks so much. No, we're excited so. to see what yeah. artists have to propose this year. Awesome. That'll be exciting. All right. Our ongoing project. Our yes. call for any artists out there, hey, you want to make it uh, art out of the traffic signal boxes in the downtown Missoula area and expanding area in the Missoula area, mm -hmm. um, MissoulaPublicArt.org for more information and the application process as well. So thanks, guys, for joining me. Thanks, Scott. Thanks so much, Scott. We